Alrighty, hey traders, uh, John Howell here. Today we're going to be talking about gold mining stocks. Gold mining stocks is the focus of today's video only. Um, I'll get to the stock market a bit later on, but are we about to see a flash? And then is that flash going to be an end of trend? And is that end of trend about to see a big boom in the mining stocks? There's a lot I want to share with you today. So let's get straight into it. Don't place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. All right. <laughs> what the hell was that in? <laughs> Alrighty traders, welcome to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is John Hal, and I've been trading the markets for 16 years. Or uh, So welcome to my channel. Please click, the, please click the subscribe button. Get me to that 30k subscribers, guys. Come on. Click, 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 click. Um, uh, yeah, I've been trading the markets now for 16 years. My first five years, I lost a quarter of a million dollars. That's $250,000. And ever since then, I've done really well from trading. And now I'm just sharing some things that I have learned from trading. And no, I don't make money every single trade. And some months, I totally screw up. Now, when I say totally screw up, my account's down about 10%, right? Then the next month, I come back, I make the money back, and I keep moving forward. Anyway, so there's a bit of a short introduction about me. And uh, I just want to share some things that I've learned over my 16 years. And uh, a lot of it has come from actually screwing up. So anyway... So looking at, right now I'm going to be focusing on the gold mining stocks. Now, are we about to see a flush, end of trend, pop in the markets? Let's actually start with the first one, flush. Right now, we are getting so, so, so close to, uh, to the gold mining stocks, like the GDX, as you can see here, uh, the GDXJ, the GDXJ has, you can see the GDXJ, there's, this, this is the major level of support down here. But look what's happening here with the GDXJ. The GDXJ here, it's really, really interesting, right? So we're definitely uh, definitely on a weak downward phase through here, right? I'll, I'll get back to the GDX. Don't worry, the GDX, I just want to share something with you. I'll share something with you <laughs> with the GDX, but um, uh, but I want to get to the GDX, GDXJ first, and then I'll get to the GDX, all right? Cool. Um, oh, by the way, guys, if you haven't done so, grab free access to my trading course. I'm about to close it down. Free access. Link in the description. Um, sponsored by me. Free access. Anyway, let's actually look at this here. So we are definitely getting a bit of a drop to the downside here. We can see this major level of support, how the GDXJ has come to the downside. Now, here's the really interesting thing I'm seeing with the GDXJ, right? The junior minor gold stocks. Here's the really interesting. I'm not saying this is definitely going to be... But this could be turning out to, I don't know if it's going to be or not. Okay, so what we're looking at here is we definitely rallied up and now we're rolling back over again. So we are definitely on a downward, so we are definitely on a downward slope through here and we are, it is definitely looking quite weak right now. So right now we're definitely on a high, lower high, lower high, bit of a sideways movement and then, and then now we're actually having a bit of a downward move phase. So here's the really interesting thing I want you to keep out for. I don't know what this is going to turn into, whether we're going to continue down. Right now, the trend is your friend until the end. This is the, this is a big move down. But what this could be, what this could be, is what I call the end of trend indicator. An end of trend indicator. Now, what is an, what is an end of trend indicator? The end of trend indicator does this. We see a major level of support. All right, so this is not just any ordinary support. But so if I squeeze my daily charts up here, we can see how this just below 45 on the GDXJ, you can see here that we've had this major level of support. You see that through there? Cool. Now, what happens, what tends to happen at major bottoms, what I call the end of trend before we start to see some really big moves, what tends to happen is that we get a bit of a drop. So we drop below the support level and then we get straight back above it like that, right? It's more like a V bottom if you're going to call that, but we, we drop below it and then we come and we rally right back up above it. And this actually happens quite a bit of time. Um, and it really, again, it's all at, it's at major level of support. Just like if I give you an example of what it actually looks like on the chart, if I go to, if I bring up my silver chart here, and I bring up the weekly chart. Look at this back here. So 
notice how we had on silver on the weekly chart notice how we had now there, again this is 2015 16 17 18 19 pretty much 20 right so the whole time we had this what major major level of support but look what happened here we dropped down and we rallied straight back up notice that through there now this here is what this here is called an end of trend indicator meaning end of trend meaning the market's going down and it's an end of trend slash slingshot pattern because what i see this as and what i see this as is if it's an end of trend meaning the market's going down and this is the end of trend before we start to see the move up slash slingshot pattern because if we if this is like pulling back the elastic band right and then when we start to get back up there the, this is like the, the you know when you pull back the elastic band you pull it back pull it back and you let it go when you let it go guess what happens the elastic band you pull it back pull it back and the elastic band goes to here doesn't it all right so when the elastic band goes to there does whatever you whatever you have in the elastic band does it stop there or does the momentum sling it the momentum slings it right so the elastic band may stretch back and then pop to the upside but what happens is whatever is in that slingshot follow follows along with the momentum to the upside makes sense so what we need to see to have a probability of this going to be a slingshot pattern slash end of trend indicator is this formation a break below then a break back above so if i go back to now my gdx chart and if i open up my chart here we can see we have this major level of support here and now we're breaking back below so over the next couple of days to a week if we do if the market does create you know something like this where the market holds here and then we start to do something like this and we start to get back above here this level here is now a high probability that we have just made the final low the final low it's the final countdown da -da -da -da, right um <laughs> sorry. i can just imagine the comments section boy john okay so uh <laughs> And it's the and it's the fight. I believe once that happens, there's probably a seventy plus percent chance. Seventy plus seventy plus percent because nothing. There's no certainties in the stock market, but if we look at a good probability, it's probably a good seventy plus seventy plus percent chance that this downward leg is now coming to the end. And if we get something like this here, where the slingshot pattern, where the market drops down, and we get back here. Guess what? That's the elastic band, isn't it? Remember, the elastic band stays there. But what happens to the thing in the elastic band? It slings to the upside. Remember, just like silver did? Now, not every single day. When I say moves to the upside, uh, it doesn't go, doesn't every single, uh, it, it doesn't mean that every single up day is going to be up, okay? When you visualize something going up, if it does, if we do get this, I'm not saying we're definitely going to because we need to wait for the pattern to show us. And then this, we, we, and then when the slingshot is now confirming, it gives us a good probability of seeing that, just like, just like silver did. So, if I go back to silver again, I'll just share with you. Just if I go back to silver again, this is where I started to load up on options, right? So we had a move down and a move up. See that slingshot? That that was that that was that final low there. So when the market did this, here is when I started to add some call options. And I wrote it up from there. Makes sense? So you wait for the slingshot pattern to confirm first. And then what we see, then what we want to see is we want to see the market having a big, uh, then we see the market having a big move up. So that's what I'm watching for on the GDXJ, whether we do get, whether we do get that. So there, and if that does happen, if we do get the slingshot pattern coming up through here, then that uh, I believe then we this would be now creating a final low of this massive downward phase we've been seeing and now we'd be create the final low for quite some time to come and then we're probably going to start to see something or if we do get something like that we're probably going to get that bit of a backing pattern up down sideways up sideways up sideways you know type thing right that's a, that's a proper bull market so keep an eye for this guys because this could be the this could be the final you know the final final countdown type thing and that's what i'm seeing there with the gdx the the gdx hasn't actually broken below this major level of support yet so what i'm seeing here is we're probably likely to do that on the gold on the gdx the gdxj has already done that so the gdx 
just the normal gold stocks, I believe we're probably likely to see a bit of a flush down tomorrow, flushing past this support level. And once again, if indeed we do get that, we need to wait and see whether we do get this holding, we get something like that, and then holding, and then a rally back up like that. If we do, guess what? Major probability that this here is now, if we do get this pattern, it's a major probability that that this move down through here, this is now the end of trend, so the end of trend, the trend being down, the end of trend slash slingshot pattern. So it's the end of trend coming down through there, and it's the slingshot pattern to start to start to see a movement to the upside. Okay, guys. So again, um, I'm not saying we're definitely going to get this here because we could just continue down from here. So we need to wait for the pattern to confirm. So let's actually see if we do get that confirmation first. If it doesn't confirm, then that, therefore we don't have any probability. Right now, there's a, pro there's a high probability we're going to flush below this support level right here to start to get... We're going to flush below the support level to start to actually get... Uh, um, to, to probably to, to probably start to you know shake out shake out the weekend. What I mean by that is that down the down below here, there's probably a whole bunch of stops below the low here that people have been long. So the market will probably flush them out. And then what also happens is there's people getting not only are people getting stopped out with their with their longs, but people are starting to go short here because they're oh it's breaking below support. Let's go short. And then that's when the market does that. So it stops out the longs, it gets people short, and then reverses on it. So that's that's the reason why the market does this quite some time. So I hope this helps you out today, guys. Oh, and by the way, um, uh, leave a comment in the section below because you're part of the 3% who actually finishes watches these videos. So you're the 3% club. Leave in the mining, leave in the comment section below Mining boom coming. Mining boom or yeah, just just mining, mining boom, mining boom coming. There, there you go. Put that in the comment section below, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey traders, I'm giving away 100% uh, free access to my brand new breakthrough full trading course. This is eight videos over 10 hours of pure, amazing, and powerful strategies. This is my most powerful systems of strategies that I've used for the last 16 years and I'm giving it away for free. So this is what I want you to do right now. I want you to go to johnsfreegift.com or there should be a link around here somewhere, a button or in the description or somewhere in there. Click on that and you can go get free access to my brand new uh, breakthrough trading course. So go to johnsfreegift.com right now. Go to that right now, guys. You can get full, complete, free membership access. Go do that right now.